Hi listeners, I am Dr. C.V. Krishnaveni, lecturer in computer science from SKR and SKR Government College for Women, Kadapa, Andhra Pradesh, India. I am here to bring before you the newly updated benchmarks of the constituent colleges or affiliated colleges relevant to NAC, which are updated on December 5th, 2022. I'll take you to NAC website, show you the notification, benchmarks and then explain one by one in detail. Let's move on to NAC website now. Now, I'll show you the NAC website. Here is the notification. Let me come from the beginning. NAC moved on to NAC website www.nac.gov.in. Here you find disclosure of benchmarks. When you click on that, you reach this. Public disclosure of benchmarks of affiliated or constituent colleges dated 5th December 2022. The subject is public disclosure of benchmarks of affiliated or constituent colleges. As per the decision of Executive Committee of NAC in its 99th meeting held on 30th October 2022, it has been decided to disclose the benchmarks for the institutional accreditation, the benchmarks of the affiliated or constituent colleges have been placed under the link below for the stakeholders feedback. The following benchmarks will be applicable to the HEI submitting the online institutional information for quality assessment IIQA on or after 1st January 2023. Feedback may kindly be sent to director at nag.gov.in on or before 12th December 2022, if any. So here you find Affiliated College Manual, Affiliated College Benchmarks, Revised Affiliate College Templates, Revised Affiliate College SOP. Now, in this video, I am going to explain about the affiliated college benchmarks. So when you click here, you will reach this page. So for all seven criteria, benchmarks updated or given. Let me explain one by one in detail. Recommended benchmark along with the earlier benchmarks for the QNMs, Quantitative Metrics of Affiliated or Constituent College Manual. Criteria 1, which is with curricular aspects. In this key indicator, 1.2 is academic flexibility. First, quantitative metric. 1.2.1 it is about number of add-on or certificate or value added programs offered and online MOOC programs like Swayam, NPTEL etc where the students of the institution have benefited during the last five years if that is greater than or equal to 25 the scale is 4 if it is between 15 to 25 3 is the score 5 to 15 
2 will be the scale 1 to 5 then 1 if not 0. So in 5 point scale 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 with these number of courses, number of programs offered if they are greater than or equal to 25 you will get 4 like that within this range 3 as explained earlier. Second metric is 1.2.2 percentage of students enrolled in certificate or add-on or value added programs and also completed online MOOC programs like Swayam, NPTEL etc. As against the total number of students during the last five years. If that percentage is greater than or equal to 50, then in 5 point scale 0 to 4, you will achieve 4. If the percentage is between 35 to 50, then you will get 3. And for 20% to 35%, the scale mark you get is 2. 10 to 20 percent 1 and if it is less than 10 percent you will get 0. This is about the key indicator 1.2 academic flexibility. Coming to the next key indicator 1.3 curriculum enrichment 1.3.2 quantitative metric percentage of students undertaking project work or field work or internships and notice that this data is to be provided for the latest completed academic year and if that percentage is greater than or equal to 35 you will get 4. If it is between 20 to 35 percent we get 3. 10 to 20 percent means 2. 5 to 10 percent is 1 and if it is less than 5 percent you will get 0. The next, the next key indicator is 1.4 feedback system. In this the quantitative metric 1.4.1 is about institution obtains feedback on the academic performance and ambience of the institution from various stakeholders such as students, teachers, employers, alumni etc. And action taken report on the feedback is made available on institutional website. In this, feedback processes of the institution may be classified as follows. A. To get A for 4, feedback collected, analyzed, action taken and feedback hosted on the institutional website all must be done. Then you will get 4 for A. B. If only feedback is collected, analyzed and has been taken, action has been taken, then you will get B. B means for 3. 3 you will get. If the feedback is collected and analyzed, then you will get C. That is for C, you will get 2. Then if simply feedback is collected at least from any two stakeholders which was explained here, that is from either alumni, teachers, employers and students, then it is D and you will get 1. And feedback is not at all collected, it is E and it, in the scale you will get 0. So this is about the first criteria, curricular aspects benchmarks for quantitative metrics. Next, I'll move on to criteria 2, teaching, learning and evaluation. In this, 
key indicator 2.1 is about student enrollment and profile. We will see one by one quantitative metrics now. In quantitative metric 2.1.1, if the enrollment percentage is greater than or equal to 80%, in 5 point scale from 0 to 4, you will get 4. If the percentage is between 60 to 80%, you will get 3. If it is between 40 to 60%, you will get 2. And from 30 to 40%, if the enrollment percentage exists, then you will get 1. And if it is less than 30%, in 4 point scale from 0 to 4, you will get 0. In 2.1.2 quantitative metric, percentage of seats filled against seats reserved for various categories like SC, ST, OBC, etc. As per applicable reservation policy during the last 5 years, exclusive you of supernumerary seats. If that percentage is greater than or equal to 80%, then you will get 4. If it is between 60 to 80 percent, you get 3. And if it is between 50 to 60 percent, you get 2 marks. And 40 to 50 percent is 1. And if it is less than 40 percent, you will get 0. And for the key indicator 2.2, student teacher ratio, for the quantitative metric 2.2.1, student full-time teacher ratio. Remember that this data should be taken for the latest completed academic year. Formula is students is to full-time teacher and if that ratio is less than 20 is to 1 then you get 4. If it is between 20 to 30 is to 1 you get 3, 30 to 40 is to 1, you will get 2 and if you, if the ratio is 50 to 40 to 50 is to 1, then the mark you get is 1 and if it is a greater than 50 is to 1, then it is 0. The next indicator, key indicator is 2.4, teacher profile and quality. In the quantitative metric 2.4.1, percentage of full-time teachers against sanctioned posts during the last 5 years. If that percentage is greater than or equal to 75, then you will get 4, 65 to 75 percent 3, 50 percent to 65 percent 2 and if the percentage is between 40 to 50, it is 1. And if it is less than 40 percent, you will get 0. And the next quantitative metric is 2.4.2, which is the percentage of full-time teachers with net or set or select or PhD or DSC or DLIT during the last five years consider only highest degree for count and if that percentage is greater than or equal to 75 percent you get four if it is between 60 to 75 percent three 50 to 60 percent two 30 to 50 percent one and if it is less than 30 percent you'll get zero and the next key indicator is 2.6, student performance and learning outcomes. In this 2.6.3 quantitative metric, pass percentage of students during last 5 years. If that percentage is greater than or equal to 90%, you will score 4. If it lies between 80 to 90%, you will get 3. 70 to 80% is 2. 60 to 70 percent is 1 and if it is less than 60 percent you will get 0. 
So this is about the benchmarks for criteria to teaching, learning and evaluation. The next criteria is third criteria, the research, innovations and extension. Key indicator 3.1 is about resource mobilization for research. In this, the quantitative metric 3.1.1 is about grants received from government and non-governmental agencies for research projects or endowments in the institution during the last five years INR in lakhs if it is greater than or equal to 15 lakhs then you'll get 4 10 to 15 lakhs 3 5 to 10 lakhs 2 1 to 5 lakhs 1 and if it is less than 1 lakh you'll get 0 the next key indicator 3.2 is about innovation ecosystem. In this, the quantitative metric 3.2.2, the number of workshops or seminars or conferences including on research methodology, intellectual property rights, IPR and entrepreneurship conducted during the last five years. If that number is greater than or equal to 40, you will score 4. If it is between 30 to 43, if it is between 20 to 32, and if it is between 5 to 20, you will get 1. And if it is less than 5, you will get 0. The next key indicator is 3.3 Research Publications and Award. In the quantitative metric 3.1, number of research papers published per teacher in the journals notified on UGC care list during the last 5 years. If that is greater than or equal to 10, you will get 4. If it is between 5 to 10 you will get 3, if it is between 3 to 5 you will get 2 and if it is between 0 to 3 you will get 1 and if 0 you will get 0. And for the quantitative metric 3.3.2 the number of books and chapters in edited volumes or books published and papers published in national or international conference proceedings per teacher during last five years if that number is greater than or equal to 10 you will score 4 if it is between 5 to 10 3 if it is between 3 to 5 you will score 2 and if it is greater than 0 and 2 3 you will get 1 and if it is 0 that's 0 the next key indicator is 3.4 extension activities in this the quantitative metric 3.4.3 .3, number of extension and outreach programs conducted by the institution through NSS or NCC etc including the programs such as Swachh Bharat, AIDS awareness, gender issues etc and or those organized in collaboration with industry, community and NGOs during the last five years if that number is greater than or equal to 40 you'll get four in the four five point scale of zero to four and if the number is between 20 to 40 you'll get three if it is between 10 to 20 you'll get two and if it is between five to ten you'll get one and if it is less than five you get only zero then the next key indicator is 3.5 about collaboration. In this, the quantitative metric 3.5.1, the number of MOUs, collaborations or linkages for faculty exchange, student exchange, internship, field project, on the job training, research and other academic activities during the last five years 
if that is greater than or equal to 20 you get 4 if it is between 15 to 20 you get 3 if it is between 10 to 15 you'll get 2 and if it is between 1 to 10 you'll get 1 and if it is less than 1 your score is 0. So this is about the third criteria benchmarks. The next comes criterion 4 infrastructure and learning resources. In this the key indicator 4.1 is physical facilities. 4.1.2 quantitative metric is about percentage of expenditure excluding salary for infrastructure augmentation during last five years INR in lakhs. If that is greater than or equal to 25% you will score 4 and if it is between 10 to 25% you will get 3 and if it is between 5 to 10% you will get 2 and if it is between 1 to 5% you will get 1 and if it is less than 1% your score is 0. The next key indicator is 4.3 IT infrastructure. In this 4.3.2 quantitative metric student computer ratio. This data is to be provided for the latest completed academic year. If that ratio is less than or equal to 5 is to 1, you get 4. If it is between 5 to 15 is to 1, you will get 3. And if it is between 15 to 30 is to 1, you will get 2. And you will get 1 if the ratio is 30 to 40 is to 1. And if it is greater than 40 is to 1, you will get 0. And the next key indicator 4.4 is about maintenance of campus infrastructure. In this the quantitative metric 4.4.1 percentage of expenditure incurred on maintenance of infrastructure, physical and academic support facilities excluding salary component during the last 5 years INR in lakhs. If that is greater than or equal to 25% you score 4 and if it is between 20 to 25% you score 3 and if it is between 10 to 20% you will get 2 and if you have the percentage 1 to 10% your score will be 1 and if it is less than 1% it will be 0. So this is about the fourth criteria benchmark. Next comes criteria 5 which is about student progression and sorry student support and progression. Key indicator 5.1 student support. 5.1.1 quantitative metric is about percentage of students benefited by scholarships and free ships provided by the government, non-government agencies and philanthropists during last 5 years. If that percentage is greater than or equal to 70%, you will score 4. If it is between 60 to 70%, you will get 3. And if it is between 50 to 60%, your score is 2. And if it is between 40 to 50%, your score is 1. And if it is less than 40%, you will get 0. The next quantitative metric is 5.1.2 which is about capacity building and skills enhancement initiatives taken by the institution include the following soft skills language and communication skills life skills which includes yoga physical fitness health and hygiene ICT or computing skills so you will get a. If all four are satisfied. B. If three are satisfied. C. If two are satisfied. D. If one is satisfied here. And E. If none is done and you will get zero. Four for A. Three for B. Two for C. One for D. And zero for E. The next quantitative metric is 5.1.3. Percentage of students benefited by guidance for competitive examinations and career counseling offered by the institution during the last five years. If that percentage is greater than or equal to 40%, you'll get 4. If it is between 30% to 40%, you'll get 3. And if it is between 
20 to 30 percent you'll get two marks and if it is between 5 to 20 percent you'll get one and if it is less than five percent you'll get zero and 5.1.4 quantitative matrix is the next one the institution has a transparent mechanism for timely redressal of student grievances including sexual harassment and ragging cases the first point is that implementation of guidelines of statutory or regulatory bodies second one is organization wide awareness and undertakings on policies with zero tolerance third one is mechanisms for submission of online or offline students grievances fourth one is timely redressal of the grievances through appropriate committees if all four are properly executed you will get a that means four b any of these three b means three any two c is two d one is zero the next key indicator is stu student progression 5.2 in this 5.2.1 quantitative matrix percentage of placement of outgoing students and students progress into higher education during the last five years if that is greater than or equal to 60 percent you score four and 40 to 60 percent is three 30 to 40 percent is 2 and 10 to 30 percent is 1 and less than 10 percent is 0 and the next quantitative metric 5.2.2 percentage of students qualifying in state national international level examinations during the last five year for example jam clat gate gmat cat gre TOE, FL, Civil Services, State Government Examinations. If that percentage is greater than or equal to 10%, you score 4, 7 to 10%, 3, 4 to 7%, 2, 1 to 4%, 1 and less than 1%, you will get 0. The next key indicator is 5.3 student and participation student participation and activities 5.3.1 number of awards or medals for outstanding performance in sports or cultural activities at university, state, national or international level. Award for a team even should be counted as one during the last five years. If that is greater than or equal to 30, you will get 4, 20 to 30, 3, 10 to 20, 2, 5 to 10, 1, less than 5 is 0. The next two quantitative metric is 5.3.2 average number of sports and cultural programs in which students of the institution participated during last five years organized by the institution or other institutions greater than or equal to 30 you will get 4 20 to 30 3 10 to 20 2 5 to 10 1 and if it is less than 5 you will get 0 so this is about fifth criteria student support and progression benchmarks next we will see criteria six benchmarks the sixth criteria is about governance leadership and management in this the key indicator 6.2 is about strategy development and deployment in 6.2.2 quantitative metric Implementation of e-governance in areas of operation, first administration, second one finance and accounts, third one student admission and support, fourth one is examination. If in all these e-governance e is implemented, then you will get A, that is 4, 4 you will get any of these four implemented means b that means you will get three if any two you will get c so two marks if in any one d is the grade given and you will get one mark and for none you will get e that is zero marks and for the key indicated 6.3 faculty empowerment strategies 6.3.2 quantitative metric 
Percentage of teachers provided with financial support to attend conferences or workshop and towards membership fee of professional bodies during the last five years. If that percentage is greater than or equal to 50%, you will get 4. 40 to 50 percent means 3, 20 to 40 percent is 2, 5 to 20 percent is 1 and if it is less than 5 percent you will get 0. 6.3.3 quantitative metric is about percentage of teaching and non-teaching staff participating in faculty development programs FDP, professional development or administrative training programs during the last 5 years. If that is greater than or equal to 50 percent, you will get 4, 40 to 50 percent 3, 30 to 40 percent 2, 10 to 30 percent 1 and if it is less than 10 percent, you will get 0. And for the key indicator 6.5, internal quality assurance system. In this, 6.5.2 quantitative metric is about Quality assurance initiatives of the institution include first one regular meeting of internal quality assurance cell IQAC feedback collected analyzed and used for improvements second one is collaborative quality initiatives with other institutions or membership of international networks third one is participation in NIRF fourth one is any other quality audit or accreditation recognized by state, national or international agencies such as NAC, NBA, ISO certification, etc. If all these four are done, A grade, A is given, that means you will get four. If any three, B, for that you will get three and if it any two, you it is C, you will get 2 and if it any 1, it is D and you will get 1 in score and if none implemented E, that is 0. So, this is about 6th criteria, governance, leadership and management benchmarks. Then comes criterion 7, institutional values and best practices. In this, the key indicator 7.1 is about institutional values and social responsibilities. In the quantitative metric 7.1.2, the institution has facilities and initiatives for first one, alternate sources of energy and energy conservation measures. Second one, management of the various types of degradable and non-degradable waste. Third one, Water conservation, fourth one, green campus initiatives, fifth one is disabled friendly barrier free environment. If all these four are existing, then A, any four, B, any three, C, any two, D, and any one, E. So, here for A, you will get four for B3, for C2, for D1 and for E0. 7.1.3 quantitative metric quality audits on environment and energy regularly undertaken by the institution. The institutional environment and energy initiatives are confirmed through the following. First one, green audit or environment audit. Second one, energy audit. Third one, Clean and Green Campus Initiatives. Fourth one, Beyond the Campus Environmental Promotion and Sustainability Activities. If all these four are existing, you will get A. That is four score you will get. And if any three are having in your institution, then it is B. So, you will get three. If any two, it is C. You will get two. And if it is having only any one of these, the grade is D. So, you will get 1 and none means E. So, you will get 0. So, these are the benchmarks of criteria 7 institutional values and best practices. So, I have explained each and every quantitative metrics 
in all the key indicators for all the seven criteria for the affiliated or constituent college manual. I thank you all and feel free to give your feedback on this video on benchmarks of NAC for affiliated or constituent colleges. Thank you.